what's up ladies and gents welcome back to the channel it's uh, been a while since I released a video uh, for various reasons but we're gonna go straight back in with a review of a product which I think you'll find really interesting called the sleep shepherd now before I go much further I should explain that this product uses uh, what's known as binaural beats now for those of you who aren't aware binaural beats are sound waves which are played through stereo headphones so one sound in each ear different sounds uh, or if they can be at least the idea is that by having a different frequency played to each ear, your brain sort of compensates and makes up for the difference in the middle. And by making up for the difference, uh, it sort of adjusts the brain waves to a certain state, depending on the frequencies and how the binaural beats have been created. So it's sort of like um, when you hit a tuning fork, right? It sort of vibrates and changes to the frequency. Uh, or if you say, if you, if you had a pond of flat water, right, and you kept on tapping the surface of the water, eventually the ripples would get bigger and bigger until they change the whole frequency or the movement of the whole pond of water, right? It starts off small with a little tapping on, on the side of the pond, but then eventually it's moving the whole, the whole body of water. And it's sort of the same idea with binaural beats. So let's just jump right in and show you this. This is the box, and uh, when you get it, you'll notice that it's actually quite tightly packed. Uh, so much like Apple products, when you take the box off, you feel that sort of suction of air. And they've done that, uh, well, I know Apple have done it at least, to create a sense of value uh, and to make you feel like it's uh, more important, more special, right? Anyway, I don't know if that's, that's why they've done it, but that's why Apple have done it. So it's a good effect. It makes you feel like you've got something more valuable to hold on to. Now, the first look at the product is this, okay? So essentially, it's a, a fabric band with a little computer box here, and let me just let me just explain it. It looks like this, okay. And you'll notice that there are several different pads here. So you've got these two pads here, which are headphones. There is actually there are actually headphones inside the fabric underneath. And if you feel them like that, you can get a sense of of where they are. But generally, they sort of you know. If you put your ear anywhere on this pad here, you'll be able to hear them. And so the idea is that you would put this on like this, the computer box on your forehead like that, wrap it around and do up the Velcro on the back and the pads would be over your ears. Now, this is where it gets a bit clever. This is where it gets really interesting. So I've explained that binaural beats change the frequency of your brain, uh, your brain waves, right? They put you into different brain states, alpha, data, beta, delta, theta, that sort of thing. Theta is the state that you're aiming for to lucid dream, right? But in order to get there, you need to deeply relax. And you can't just go from your awake state to a lucid dreaming state. It's just difficult to do. It's almost impossible, right? You need to slowly, like going down a staircase, you need to go step by step, okay? You can't just jump to the bottom because it'll be painful and, you know, <laughs> it's not what you want. So the idea with this product is that this computer box here can sense the brainwave state you're in, okay? So it has an ECG sensor. Uh, I'll find some more information as well about the technical, uh, the tech spec, if you like, of this and put it in the description. But anyway, a tech sensor is in here, which senses the brain state you're in. And the idea is that this smart computer chip here will play you in real time binaural beats that are at the right level that they need to be to move you down a notch into towards the theta state. So I hope I've explained that right. Let's say you're awake, right? They will sort of lull you to sleep by slowly lowering the frequency. So it will sense what state you're in. Obviously, if you're relaxed already, that's, that helps, and it will sense that. And it will gently lower the levels of binaural beats that it plays you through these things in real time. It's like a feedback loop, okay? Senses your brainwave state, plays binaural beats to change that, senses the change, plays another notch. It, you see what I mean? So it's go, it goes down a staircase until you're eventually lucid or asleep. Now, <coughs> I should explain. You can't use this on its own and lucid dream. I mean, you can, but it's very unlikely. What you need to be doing is understanding how it works, understanding that it senses your brain waves. You're aiming for a theta state to lucid dream, okay? Uh, and it plays binaural beats, which gradually move you towards that state. So you can't just put it on and expect a lucid dream. You need to have a bit of, uh, you know, knowledge about how it works and how you want it to work. So what you need to do is understand that, firstly, the more relaxed you are to start with, the easier this will be and the quicker it will work, okay? Secondly, you're more likely to lucid dream in the early hours of the morning when you're having your longest lengths of uh, REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. This is universal across all lucid dreaming techniques. All supplements, they all work better in the early hours of the morning. 
because you dream longer and you're more likely to be lucid at that time. So you can use this from, you know, from when you go to sleep first at night, but it works better in the morning. So what I'd suggest to do is to get a, get one of these, okay? Get, you know, read up a little bit about how it works. Um, I'll try and write a blog post explaining more about how you, you know, the best ways to use it. Um, and then set your alarm for 4 to 5 a.m. I know it's early, but if you normally wake up at about 8, that's about the right time, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, set your alarm. And as you would normally do a wake back to bed technique or whatever, put this on and turn it on. You literally, that's all you need to do because it knows this is designed to make you more likely to lose a dream. You just turn it on, literally press the switch, okay? And I'm not sure if I've, I have charged it, so that a little blue light will come on there and then a green light. And the idea is that it will start playing immediately sounds through the headphone pads. I'll see if I can actually let you hear it. I'm not sure if... It's very quiet because obviously it would, pressed, it would be pressed against your ear. So if I turn it right up... I'm not sure where the microphone is on here, but maybe you can hear that. If not, don't worry, because like when it's pressed against your ear, you'll definitely be able to hear it. It's like right on your eardrum, right? So, like I said, turn it on, relax, go to sleep, but go to sleep with the intention of becoming lucid. You can't just go to sleep and just, you know, put this fancy band on and you'll instantly enter a new world. You need to have the intention of lucid dreaming, much like with any technique, any supplement, any mask, and any device like this. Okay. Now, into the more technical aspects of what you get in the box. Uh, so you'll obviously get the band, right? You'll also get this. So you've got a two pin charging adapter, uh, which connects to your USB uh, lead. And then you'll obviously get the USB lead as well. This plugs directly into the computer box here. This plugs into the two pin charger. This can also plug into your computer or any other USB plug. What I should mention is that if you're outside of, uh, I'm not sure which countries use this type of adapter. Uh, maybe it's universal, maybe it's just a shaving adapter, but the pins look slightly closer together than a shaving adapter would be. Anyway, you're gonna to need to find an adapter if you don't have a USB charger or a computer. But I'm guessing if you're watching this, you know, you have a computer because how would you charge your phone? How would you watch this video, that sort of thing. So, yeah, not a, not a huge problem, but they don't give you, you know, if you're in the USA or the UK, I'm not sure if uh, if this is a shaving adapter, but this is the charging unit you get. So this plugs into that, but you can, unless you plug this into a computer, you need a charging adapter for this. That's the only thing. So, that's pretty much it. You get this in the box. Uh, it doesn't come with much sort of unless I've thrown the instructions away. It doesn't come with many instructions, I don't think, as far as I remember. Uh, so that's why I sort of thought I'd make this video, just so that if you are thinking of getting one or have one already, uh, you can get a bit more of an understanding about how it works. Now, it does come, you know, included. It's intended to be used with uh, an app, a mobile phone app. Uh, and the app, I can't remember, I think it's just called Sleep Shepherd. Uh, yeah, you can see on the, on the back of the box there. The app sort of tracks things like your REM sleep, your different stages of sleep, when you go to sleep, when you wake up, that sort of thing, and how uh, restless you were during the night. It's a fairly simple app, and it doesn't, as far as I remember, tell you when you're lucid. It can't sense that, so that's something you just have to remember and write down in the morning. It gives you a little uh, sleep, like a sleep score, sleep quality score, much like Fitbit does. Um, and it also has an alarm, which will wake you up gradually. I forgot to mention this. So uh, the main problem with you know common uh, alarm clocks and tones is they instantly put you into a state of panic they, they release adrenaline when you hear them that sort of blaring beeping noise right in your ear it's not a good way to start the day whereas with this it will set like a gradual alarm and using binaural beats as well it will uh, gently wake you up and move your brain state from a deep sleeping state you know delta or theta even uh, into a waking state so it's actually really good for that it can make you wake up uh, feeling more refreshed so even if you don't want to lose a dream this is a great way to wake up and it's a great um, well, it's a great way to fall asleep because it gently relaxes you into the right brainwave state. It's also a great way to wake up because it doesn't panic you and you start your day feeling more refreshed. Now, I wanted to keep this review under 10 minutes, so I'm going to sort of end it there. Um, <clears throat> like I said, combine using this with the wake back to bed technique uh, and you'll have some pretty good results. Like I've had quite a few lucid dreams just from using this uh, because it, den it tends to relax me and... Uh, one other thing I should mention, when you're asleep already, 
if it senses that you're waking up or your brain waves are getting a bit more active, it can actually sort of soothe you back to sleep and back into a dreaming state. So it's really good for that. If you're a restless sleeper, if you find yourself waking up a lot during the night, uh, this will sort of keep you not almost like a sedative, but obviously it's not a sedative. It's a, a brainwave uh, simulation device, I guess you could say, a, brain, a binaural beat um, player. So it sort of soothes you and keeps you in the right state of mind. So I hope that's helped. I hope this review has been helpful. If you do want to get a copy of the uh, copy, a you know, uh, unit of Sleep Shepherd, if you want to get one for yourself, try it out. Um, I'll put a link in the description, or I might edit one here. If not, then I don't know why I just did that with my fingers. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.